Hare Krishna. So we will proceed on our journey with the 21st verse of 4th chapter from the Bhagavad Gita as it is. The Sanskrit verse is as follows. Nirashiriyat chittatma tyaktva sarva parigraha shariram kevalam karma kurvan napnoti kil bisham The English translation is as follows. Such a man of understanding acts with mind and intelligence perfectly controlled, gives up all sense of proprietorship over his possessions, and acts only for the bare necessities of life. Thus working, he is not affected by sinful reactions. Nirash in Sanskrit means without any selfish desire. And Asha means having desire in Sanskrit. Generally, we work because we have some desire. But here Krishna is saying, what is the reason for a transcendental person to work? It is Sharir Kevalam Karma. At one level, it means simply for bodily maintenance, he should act. And now one may ask question that if Arjuna will win the war, how he will be doing Shariram Kevalam Karma? He will be living in a palace with so much of opulence. Now we should not be stereotyped in Shariram Kevalam Karma. Yes, we have to act for the maintenance of the body. But how we act depends on Varna and Ashrama. Akshatriya will live the way Akshatriya has to live. So Shariram Kevalam Karma will vary from different people. And Kurvan Napno Tikil Bisham, such a person will not be bound. In the purport, it is mentioned that for he has no desire for personal sense gratification. He moves exactly like a part of a machine. As a machine part requires oiling and cleaning for maintenance, so a Krishna conscious man maintains by his work just to remain fit for action in the transcendental loving service of the Lord. Now every example has some emphasis. Here the meaning is not about dehumanizing but as every part in a machine works with the whole, so we also should be working with the whole. So this will happen by sinking in love with Krishna. We need to understand that we are the part of the supreme whole. Like an animal, he has no proprietorship even over his own body. A cruel proprietor of an animal sometimes kills the animal in his possession. Yet the animal does not protest. Again, the point of this analogy given in the purport is not to somebody will slaughter us. But the point is that we should be faithful. Like a dog is faithful to the master. As a dog lay down his life for master. And sometimes it may appear that Lord is beating us. But if we stay fixed in Krishna consciousness, we will understand that Lord has a plan and we should be faithful to the Lord. We will discuss the 22nd verse in the next episode. Till then, Hare Krishna!